So I think the stories that are most often told are the ones that make people feel good, that are uplifting. And often our history has been told as what we imagined it to be rather than what it actually was. And so when we're doing history, and everybody can do history, we shouldn't imagine what was what it was or what we think it was or what we wanted it to be, but evaluate what it was. And in order to do that, we look at primary documents um, and we ask all kinds of questions of those documents and we ask them from different points of view. Um, and so if you're going to understand something like the American Revolution, you need to be thinking about, okay, well, what were free white women thinking about this revolution? What were landless white men thinking about this revolution? What were enslaved black people thinking of this revolution? What were the Iroquois thinking about this revolution? That if you think about it from the point of view of the people um, that have left the most sources, which are the master class, you're going to get a very narrow understanding of the past. And there's a tendency to romanticize that uh, because we want to understand American history as an upward trajectory that, you know, things are just steadily getting better for everybody all the time. That isn't always what was, that's what we imagine to be. Um, so we need to be very clear um, that we're evaluating the sources we have, that we're interrogating those sources that we're asking from multiple point of views, that we're not just remembering what is easy, what is convenient, and what makes us feel good.